Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and this is an introduction to basic color correction in Premiere Pro. So, you may notice that I have my color panel selected up top. Please do the same, and if you don't have it up here in your menu bar, go to Window Workspace Color. Now, as soon as you choose the color workspace, a couple of things happen. One of the things that happens is you're given this Lumetri color panel is you're given a Lumetri scope window. You probably do not have these on your window yet unless you put them there. So the way you find them is you go under this wrench and you choose vector scope YUV and waveform RGB. These are the two that I recommend, particularly if for people that are wanting a, a basic introduction to color correction. Now what these are, the vector scope is the circular scope here and this is demonstrating to you the saturation levels of the color as well as where the color is situated on this chart and the waveform is this graph and this is letting you know the color distribution of wherever you might be in this clip it's actually reflecting the way the color is distributed and also the exposure are you underexposed are you beneath zero are you overexposed are you above 100. Now the reason I could tell that it's beneath zero is because I am not clamped. In doing basic color correction, you are attempting to be broadcast safe within range for broadcast. Not only that, but by doing color correction, you're absolutely making your movie look better. Because see that I have blue down below and I am underexposed. Here's where it's saturated. I do not want to exceed this shape here, and I am slightly exceeding that. So those are two things right away. What am I going to use to do basic color correction? Clearly basic color correction, and I also like to work with curves. The other items on here, particularly color wheels and match and HSL secondary, we'll be spending a lot of time with. And when it comes to curves, we have two sections the top section and the bottom section. The bottom section is called U saturation curves, which have to do with color grading in a wonderful way where you can change one color, but that's another lesson. For this lesson in basic color correction, I'm gonna be looking at basic correction and under curves, just these RGB curves. When you're looking at the RGB curves, this white dot has to do with your white point and your black point. Another way of saying that would be this top dot is the brightest point on your clip and the bottom dot is the darkest shadow on your clip. The brightest highlight, the darkest shadow. When it comes to the colors, these are dividing up your colors into video color fields of red, green, and blue. This is highlight and this is shadow, but it also works with it in, as a color wheel. For example, Moving this down will bring me into more of a green tone. Double clicking here undoes that. Let's just take a look at this overall. If I'm looking at this graph, the first thing I can say is I am definitely underexposed. I need to bring up the shadows. So I can just simply go like that. Notice how this has been boosted and now you're within range. I'm going to command Z. I can also go under basic correction and I could boost up the blacks a bit. Now, interestingly, you'll see that this color blue is the culprit. Let me just revisit my curves and look at blue. I'm going to just go to the bottom of this blue line and just boost that up vertically. We're missing a lot of the more complex mid-tones and the higher tones of brightness here and color gradation. Okay, so if I'm going to work with my white point, dark point, and my basically you could look at this just as being exposure, I could just, you know, I want to just boost this up a little bit here. And you'll notice how everything is being boosted uniformly. The higher range of your exposure are being boosted. If I want this to be uniformly lighter towards the highlight spectrum, 
Maybe I wanna just boost the midtones in general, just give it an overall boost. Visiting our vector scope here, I had mentioned before how the saturation's a little bit off. I can just lower the saturation a bit. You'll notice how this now has corrected itself within range. And there's also something called white balance. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna remove the attributes of this first so that you can see it without anything on it. So let's white balance him. Eyedropper, let's just choose saying this should be white. Whenever you have a tint over your footage, white balance will correct that. Okay, let's look at this clip. To uniformly lower the highlights, you would go down vertically. To uniformly boost the shadows, you would go up vertically. Say I find this to be a little washed out, I would like more light here. I'm gonna go right here and just go, just give this some overall good lighting. Maybe I just wanna have a little kind of definition in the shadows, I'm gonna bring that down. Let's look at these buttons. I mean, exposure, you can see what's happening there. My blacks here, I could lower the shadows of those blacks. This is like literally pinpointing those areas. I could boost that here. Contrast. Now over here we are moving into the blue range. Maybe I want to stay more within this warm tone. Here's my temperature. I'm going to move this over away from the blue. Maybe try to stay right on that line. We're going to be doing a class on this skin line and examining what that's about. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to basic color correction in Premiere Pro. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.